Hi, I'm Renato Depp and in this video we are going to talk about ND filters. ND filters are basically sunglasses for your camera, so you put this in front of your lens and the image becomes darker. There are different threads for ND filters. If you're using a circular one, this one is for example 67 which fits on this lens, but if I get my other lens which is here, but I won't get it. Uh, it doesn't fit because that one has a 49 millimeters filter thread, but this one has a 67 one. Uh, so what you need for that are actually step rings, so then you can attach it to a step ring and uh, the thread becomes smaller and smaller and smaller so we can fit on different lenses. So the actual uses for ND filters are basically two. The first one being for photography. Why is it good for photography? It only serves for getting long exposure images during the day. So if it's bright outside and you want to get a long exposure, the camera will get the light from every single a second of your exposure so the image will be very uh, bright so if you use an ND filter it basically allows you to get uh, long exposure images during the day and for filmmaking there's something called the 180 degrees rule which means that which means that the shutter speed that you're using is always double the amount of frames per second you're recording so if you're shooting 24 frames per second you gotta have your shutter speed at one 48th of a second but it's actually 50 because most cameras do not have uh, 1 48th of a second so you use 1 50th of a second for that so if it's bright outside and you want to get a shallow depth of field that means a wide open aperture a low f-stop uh, you usually can't use the shutter speed at the correct uh, speed because because there's too much light so then you use an ND filter so then you can get the correct amount of blur on your image and you also get a shallow depth of field aka blurry background like this you can get even blurrier if I need to but I don't want to I want it to be right here there right there no a little bit more yeah there is also a controversial topic on filters, which is getting a high quality one or a low quality one. People always say that you shouldn't use a low quality filter in front of your high quality lens because that's just going to ruin your image. But I don't think that's true because the difference between a high quality one and a low quality one isn't really that much. It, it isn't really noticeable, especially if you're seeing on smaller screens like your phone. And the results that you can get, like getting the correct amount of blur on your image during video and getting long exposures during the day, uh, are so good that that it actually makes sense to not spend that much of a money on a high quality ND filter like a hundred dollars or hundred and fifty dollars and pay like twenty dollars on a cheap one. So that's it, if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already so you can watch more videos. Subscribe to my podcast, the link is up here for you to subscribe on YouTube, but you can also listen to it on Spotify, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, Google Play, and all of them. Every Tuesday and Thursday I'm uploading a new podcast, so go ahead and subscribe to that because it's been great. Follow me on my social medias, Instagram and Twitter at Renato Zepp underscore the link is in the description below for you to follow me so you can see the behind the scenes of making videos and editing videos and yeah that's it I'll see you guys in the next one